Well, let's get started. And what we're going to do now is put this bolt, if I can, there we go, bolt, this little square, and you need to have that square to make that ribbon vibrator work right. It goes in this slide. You want to make sure that the shiny spot, right there's a shiny spot, and on the other side, that shiny spot rubs on the top and the bottom of this slide. I've put them in the other way, and for some reason they didn't quite work right. Then, in the right in between this bar and this little piece here, that's where this nut goes. So I will work on getting that together. All right. So that square in here is wider than this piece here. So it lets it slide back and forth. So go ahead and tighten that nut down onto that square. And if I can get it to work here. That's how it works. It slides back and forth. It'll only go one way because it's upside down right now, but you get the idea. It'll slide all the way the other way too. And then the adjustment part is this. So that's where we want to make sure that, there we go, that this is adjusted right. You'll notice, there we go, there's a slot. This slot right here makes all the difference in the world on where that vi ribbon vibrator is going to sit. Usually, this nut will sit right about in the middle, maybe a little less. So this goes all the way down, it sits right about in the middle. So when I tighten this down, this is going to be the main adjustment for that ribbon vibrator to go all the way forward, all the way back. And so I'll probably have to mess with this a little bit on height. So I will tighten this up. And that's where a lot of people I think have problems is it's not real clear on what to adjust on these things. There's so many little screws and levers and whatnot that it's, it's hard to know, number one, what to tighten and loosen and adjust and then how far to do it. So a lot of things are quarter inch size and uh, flat blade screwdriver which is just pretty cool all right so try to get it so you can see it that's not bad there we go you can see all the adjustments here if you look real close you can see where people have adjusted it over the years different heights and I'll take a wild guess at this here. And let's see. If you look at the ribbon vibrator, it should set all the way back. Well, that's, that's about right. Let's try that. And just a very small adjustment up and down on this on this will make a huge difference. So that's right about in the middle. Maybe a little towards the up side. Now see how it doesn't go very far forward? It sits back here real nice, but it doesn't go all the way forward. So that'll take a little bit of adjustment where I want it to be is all the way up there and then come back to the resting position. Okay. So I will try to adjust it 
the other way a little bit. Get my hand out of there so you can see. So let's see, where was I? I was I was all the way back. So I found the best way to adjust this is to look at the ribbon vibrator as I'm moving it back and forth from underneath and then hold those two pieces together and look for the uh, best adjustment there where the ribbon vibrator is going all the way forward and all the way back and once it's doing that then I tighten that nut and that's what I'm doing right here. And a movement of a sixteenth of an inch makes a big difference. All right, so that was a very small movement. I can't believe this is staying in camera shot even somewhat while I flip it over. So that's almost there. almost right there that is there okay that's full travel so then when we want to adjust the space bar it's this piece right here when I push the keys down that'll be one adjustment and then I adjust the space bar all right so I'll push the keys down and then I'll get full travel. But if I don't get full travel, which I have it now, almost, on the space bar, then I tighten those two screws until I, I get the same travel. So what I'll do is I'll do this. Push the space bar down and then the key. And when I push the key down, the ribbon vibrator doesn't move forward anymore. I know the adjustment is right. It's a long process, and it's a, this is turning out to be a long video, but I don't know any other way to explain it. See how it just moved forward? So I will turn this over again and adjust it a little bit more, and it just takes about a quarter to a half a turn. And you know if you've gone too far, see this space right here? This is the universal bar. You shouldn't be able to put anything under that universal bar. There should be contact. If not exact all the way, it uh, should be really, really close. There shouldn't be more than just a, just a very small bit of space between the um, key levers and the universal bar. If you have too much space, these nuts the nut here is too tight. You need to loosen it up. Okay, let's see what it does. Nope. A little bit more. Just a touch more.